to another episode of Poncho's Garage. You know, it's been a while, but we're back at it now. Um, today's plan, nothing fancy, just put stuff in the engine bay. Um, so far, I got the header back in. And then the, uh, I forgot what this thing's called, the Techno Toy. But that, yeah, the steering linkage is all back in. Everything's in there nice and tight for a final install. Um, I want to put the ITVs on there. So on the ITVs, I had already assembled them, but I totally forgot that I have a heat shield for them. So I gotta take the air cleaner assemblies off real quick. Then I'll probably bolt on the, the intake manifold and ITVs on there. And then uh, put the shield and put these guys back on. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do that. Plus whatever else I can find that I can throw in the car. So yeah, let's do that. So this is where we're at. The ITBs are in, filters are in, and then I got the heat shield in there. Um, I'm gonna lift the car to see. Okay, well because these are ITBs, there's, see, there's little plugs and stuff, so I wanna see what kind of clearance I have between the plugs and the header itself. Maybe I'm gonna have to wrap the header over here, maybe not. Maybe I can just tuck the wires a little closer this way so that the heat shield uh, blocks them, but um, yeah. So that's in, um, the steering shaft is also in there, I don't know if you can see, but um, yeah, let me lift the car up so we can see uh, from the bottoms up. All right, so under here, as you can see, the shield actually blocks a lot. And I put this little gold tape thing, supposedly it helps perfect even more, so that's cool. But unfortunately, you see right here, these are the plugs for the injectors and whatnot. Um, so I might have to wrap the header, or I should be able to, I don't know, they make this little loom thing for, for wiring. Uh, put that in there and then tuck it in towards the inside. That's why it's protected with the loom and with this. That way it doesn't melt throughout the header. And um, yeah, so now that I got the car up here, I'm actually gonna Finish installing these. Um, these are the Apex Engineering uh, tie rods, low profile ones. Um, I had stock tie rods here before, and the problem was the head was too big because I'm still using uh, this guy's stock. So the head was too big and it would literally scratch the side of the rim. So, but with these, they're not even installed correctly. This still goes up once you tighten it. And yeah, you got a bunch of clearance here. So, these are great. So I'm gonna just go ahead and install that real quick, just to finish, for the sake of finishing up, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's do that. All right, so that was pretty easy. Um, and yeah, you get a ton of clearance. Basically, I can fit half a finger in there, or the other one was already scratching here, so that's gonna do it. 
Um, I mean, if you have the, I forgot what the name of this little arm is. If the, you know, some people shorten them so you can steer a little quicker. If that's shortened, it pushes it in there and you probably don't need these, but if you have the stock ones like I do, um, I recommend these, that, that'll fix your problem. Um, but anyways, um, everything's in there. Got the heat shield, I'll deal with that tomorrow. Um, I was gonna put the radiator in today, but I'm out of hardware. <laughs> so I'll do a McMaster's run tomorrow, and get some more hardware to get that going. And uh, yeah, so pretty much just keep adding more and more things to the car until it's ready. Um, but yeah, so that's basically gonna do it for this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching and I promise there won't be as big of a gap between videos <laughs> from this one and the previous one. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.